Greetings, my friends. So I've told you that the Temple Institute has uh, got everything ready for the Third Temple, has all the utensils. If they found the ancient dyes, the, they've tracked the ancient lineage of Aaron for the priests. <coughs> They're ready to go, ready to roll. And now <coughs> the Sanhedrin have ordered the priests from the line of Aaron, the lineage, to do a first fruits offering to set up the anticipation of the dedication of the third temple, which is coming up very, very soon, my friends, it's imminent. Things are happening so fast, and yet the church continues to sleep, they continue to blindly sleep with no clue of what's going on, and it makes me sad. I can't imagine how sad it makes God and Jesus Christ. And soon, that third temple is going to be built. There will be a seven-year peace treaty. But for that to happen, the true bride of Christ has to be out of here, like last year. The rapture harpazo catching away, my friends, is imminent. Sadly, most so-called Christians are clueless as to what anything the Bible says. All they know what the Bible says are mostly lies. They think the Bible says that everybody's going to be the head and not the tail. Everybody's going to be financially prosperous. Everybody's going to have all this stuff. The Bible doesn't say that. The Bible says that when we die as Christians, we'll go to heaven. That's all we're promised. God calls the rain to fall on the just and the unjust. He causes the good and bad, the good and evil people to suffer. It doesn't matter who you are. You suffer. I suffer daily, day and night, 24-7, have for the last 30 years. I suffer intensely. But God gives me the grace to be able to maintain, to be able to push through, and carry on. It's the only choice we have. Either that or give up. I'm not going to give up. The Lord's brought me through too much to do that. I owe him too much. So understand that any second of any day, Christ is going to take his bride out of here, and then seven years of pure hell is going to kick off sometime after that. It might not be right after it, but it'll be soon after it, maybe even a few years after it, but it's going to be happening sometime after that. And billions with a B are going to die grotesque, awful, terrible, horrific deaths. And there's going to be mayhem and slaughter and terror and suffering everywhere. And if God didn't intervene, not one person will remain alive. Men's hearts are going to fail them due to fear. The world's finished, my friends. Jesus Christ is your only hope. If you've never been saved, do your backslidden. Pray the prayer. Do the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second of your life, even. If you like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. True Christians, work some prayer for the lost daily. It's your job. If you're not doing it, do it now. If you are, great. And look up. Our different draw nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you and share this. Bye.